were very short-term members in the beginning, beginning days, are going to be on stage playing songs for you tonight. So there's there's ten of us that are in your mixing. So. so starting us off uh, on guitar, we got Tony Oliveira. I'm sure you're quite familiar with Tony. And Chris Chris Lorette on drums. That's right. Actually, you know, I need to see everybody's horns in the air, and I need it louder! Fuck yeah! Better. Okay, we're gonna start with some uh, some stuff from uh, our full length, the only one that we released, well, that I was in the band for, The Biological Mechanism of Hate. And uh, first song we're gonna play tonight is called Isolate. It's the opening track on that CD. Guitar Rory into the 
This guitar on my right into the left monitor, please. Right on. Cool. The next song we're going to do is another song off uh, Biological. Originally, when I wrote this song, I wrote it about uh, my family tree, sort of. And uh, I originally named it Bloodline. But believe it, and I did actually have it written and named that before Slayer wrote their tune called Bloodline. But their tune came out shortly after we'd written it. So we changed the name to Lines of Blood. Enjoy. This one goes out to Tom Araya. serious classic. It's a song that uh, was written before I joined the band and uh, Tony does some vocals on it. He, we, uh, we match off our vocals. It's a song called Gash for us. You think about that for a couple minutes it might make some sense to you. But uh, we haven't played this song for about uh, maybe about four or five years. So check it out. It's called Gash for us. Yeah. 
We got Meat Locker 7's original vocalist, Aaron Clark. Enjoy.
my voice is done. Thank you, I quit. I got a new crew! Steve's gonna do vocals on this song by himself. It's a song that was written in the very first year that Beatwalker 7 was around. And it's a very, very popular tune back in the day. We used to play it when I first joined the band. But we haven't played it again in about maybe six years. This song is called Bangler!
Hey, uh, Rory. Can we get uh, some more of the guitar on this side coming out of the other on this monitor here, please? Right on. Uh, that was actually uh, pretty fucking momentum there, right there. I, I'm a little bit emotional right now. God damn it! That was so sweet. That was like a, a lullaby. Really, it's soothing. Soothing. All right, so. Uh, Next up we got uh, the vocalist that was in Meat Locker 7 right before I joined the band and his name and he's going to do a couple of tunes for you guys so have fun
I don't know where Graham is, but... <laughs> One more time for Gwen! Let's go! Fucking great. I remember when I came and saw Meat Locker 7, the, the last show they played with Strapping Young Lad at the Ice House, right before I joined the band. And then my first show happened to be at the Ice House too, which is pretty funny, but... And uh, I think we played that very first show uh, with uh, Within a Vision. And uh, some of those boys around here, one of my favorite old uh, X bands, I guess I'll say. Anyways, um, I got a video camera, so I'm going to be intermitting some of that. We're going to uh, bring out some uh, our most new members now. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chris. How about a round of applause for Chris? I'd like to hear another very loud round of applause for Tony Oliveira on guitar. Oh, okay. Absolute mainstay. Most of Biological was written a lot by Tony, for sure. Okay, so uh, we got a couple more older ones later on, but we're going to play some of our newer stuff now. Or I guess our most recent material. Coming up on drums, we got Lincoln McCulloch. I went around for Lincoln, let's go! Everybody just want to party now. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Guitar taking over from Tony. We got Daryl Curran. I'm gonna round for Daryl. Yeah, thanks anyway, bud. Uh, yeah, my name is Bram, by the way, in case you didn't know. Introduce to everyone else. Okay, we're gonna uh, start ourselves off with. Uh, one that most of you are very familiar with. The only song we unfortunately got a chance to make a video for. We would have liked to have shot many more videos, but what we got turned out awesome. Thank you again to Eric Backman for his support and everything right back there with the camera. He's the guy that shot our video and did a fucking wicked job. That was a super fun day, man. One of the most fun days of my fucking life. It was awesome. Hopefully I'll get a chance to shoot another video in a future, man. So, uh, as you all know, yeah, the first song we're going to play here is called Systemic. But we're just going to have to wait a few minutes. How about a musical interlude? My bandmates don't know how to do that. You know, most bands do, 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 do. Fucking giving high fives. <laughs> Even though uh, we are disbanding, you can still uh, go and download some of our most recent written material off our website, which will re remain up for a while anyways, or of course on that MySpace page that everybody in the world has on. You can go to our MySpace page, you can find some tunes there to download. We didn't bring any music with us tonight. Don't really know why, but you can find it around. Fuck. Just email me, I'll send you some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Fuck. 222 emails. Yeah, I'm sorry about the small technical delays. You know, that's what happens when you interchange 10 members, you know. Fuck. Takes a few secs. Cool. But we are, we are only halfway through the evening, not even that, so that's a good sign, although. <laughs> We better get fucking going. I'd like to see a show of hands if you have heard this song before. 
please. Fuck you, I know you have. Hey, thank you to all of you guys from Vancouver that came over tonight too, man. Fuck, we appreciate your support. Definitely, man. We have so many good brothers and bands in Vancouver, and well, we're still gonna be there for you guys. So. playing that song about, well, fuck, 14, 17, 2200 times, it's still enjoyable. All right, another song off uh, Biological, turned out to be kind of one of the more popular tunes on the album, although we were surprised by the amount of popularity by, by fans, but everybody we talked to was always asking us to play it, so we're playing it tonight, it's called Vague Impression. Bring it 
shall bring the dirty Three foot of doubt It's showing time to Yow Body pain, this face heat Love beginning and now We're holding this narrow time Yow This way finds our need All the fine lines to do this life to the bed songs that we just wrote about seven, eight months ago. And this is a song that I wrote about, uh, well, uh, I wrote it about people that choose to dive under the subway to kill themselves. And uh, in London, 16 people a day jump in front of subway trains and take their lives in the city of London. That stat blew me away a bit. I found it a bit humorous, actually, that someone would think of that way to kill themselves. Because that is a fucking bad shit-ass way. Come on, man. But anyways, when someone dives into the train in London, the engineer stops the train and yells, there's one under. That's the name of the song. Your vision. Look at the dragon. 
just made a really good fucking point. He said, maybe you should remind the crowd that they're not gonna ever get to see you guys again because they're really lame down here in the front. Ah, uh, yes! That is the truth! You won't get to see us again and you are being a little lame, so please, I respect the fact you might want to stand and enjoy it, but start fucking moving around! Uh, it's a song that we wrote actually uh, before Daryl and Lincoln joined the band when uh, a fellow by the name of Death Metal Dave was our drummer. He drummed with us for about a year. Most people are familiar with him. Although, and uh, this is a song that uh, is kind of really personal for me because I wrote it about a health condition that I had and still have. It's called Atrial Fibrillation. Yes! 
you. All right. Let's have a look at the list, shall we? And see how many more are left. Hmm. I see at least three. Okay, so uh, next song is actually uh, what would turn out to be my very favorite song that we ever wrote while I was in the band. And, uh, well, I'm not really going to get into what I wrote this song about, but if you read the lyrics really close, maybe you can put the meaning to something that's in your life. That's about all I'll say. It's called Converting Truth to Myth, and tonight it features our old drummer, Death Metal Dave, wherever you are, my friend. Are you in the crowd or what? Are you in the back? Hello, David. There he is. I'm going to round of applause for Dave. Here he comes. Oh, man, you don't even have your own sticks? Uh, there's going to be some there somewhere. We wrote this song actually when Dave was in the band. And we put out a little four song EP at that time. We didn't get many printed, but... Once again, it is called Converting Truth to Myth. This is where your fault lies. 